G'day and welcome, my name is Matt and uh, what I want to do today is uh, start the process of swapping out the old plastic carburetor off an old Victor lawnmower for one of these eBay special um, carburetors. Uh, you can see this one's made out of metal instead of these plastic ones which this one's fully worn out and just is too far gone. So I'm going to reframe on the camera, reframe the camera on the mower and see what we've got to do from here. As you can see down here, I've already removed some of the uh, parts of it, mainly the uh, carburetor. So to get this carburetor to fit, we're going to have to make a bit of a vent intake manifold. Um, I'm not sure how to do it. I was going to use something like this, which is a bit too thick, but just make an angled manifold, but I think that might be too big. It doesn't need to be particularly large because once we get that off you can see that it's literally that I don't think that removes So, I've got this piece of galvanised pipe which while not being ideal being galvanized it will do perfectly as the whole diameter is pretty much perfect I don't have any kind of pipe bender to bend this so I think I'm gonna have to kind of cut it and bend it in several planes because I'm thinking that this is going to sit out here. So we need to go out, up, and across. It's not ideal, but if we go this way, we just won't get a air filter on the end of this one. So, my plans are to use this, which is a part that holds the plastic carburetor on. As a template, steel. trace it out on some steel, <coughs> cut it out, drill it out, probably cut this in segments, bend it up, weld it, and I'll then weld up some bits and pieces. So that's where we're at. Um, trying to think where to start, probably making some template. Manifolds. So, what we need to do here, I guess, is mark out. It's only particularly two holes we need to make sure we get, because there's only two holes on the uh, actually intake of the engine. As long as I can get. Two of these holes to line up. You might be able to see on the camera there's four holes there. 
I'm going to try to centre punch them as quickly as possible. Gives us somewhere to start. Hopefully, gives us a fairly close to centre marks. So I know where I can put my um, the hole that we need to put in the middle of it. Let's scribe a. Uh, Line between these. So that should put us exactly right. There for the center of the intake. Right. Yeah, you won't be able to probably see even if I hold this up here because it's a in manual focus. But maybe I can. How's that? There you go. Probably can't see it, but now I've got. Probably can't see it, but now I've got the four holes and then the center hole center punched. Which for this we actually only need two because it'll go on the engine like that. And it's just the top and bottom ones that actually get a screw in it. But yeah, it doesn't hurt to mark them all out, does it? So we need to work out how to get this laid out on here. Move a few line for a second. Hmm. Not quite convenient, is it? I suppose you can always mark this spot. Just gonna go and get a couple of belts and get a proper mark for this one. Yeah. 
and then we'll take this inside drill some things out on the drill press There's a pilot hole on both sides. That should give us holes that match. That manifold that uh, looks pretty good. You probably can't see it there, but those ones look pretty good. Uh, yeah. So that gives these ones, if we have lined them up close enough. I don't know if you can see that, but that looks pretty close to me. Not too bad for a bod shop. So now we need to get a step drill. Check out the holes in the middle until we can get things the right size. It is not the um, strongest drill press in the world, but not too pretty much needs this hole pretty much needs to be as big as the um, Oh, 
Okay, now I'm back in the shed, this is the carburetor that I've got, it's like a, um, it says Kaiken Japan, Kaiken, Kaiken, Japan, These, this is a knockoff China, um, like motorcycle car, I think is what it is, or can't remember much of the details on it, but it's for about the same size as the probably for like a 150 or something, 175 or something. I think those mowers are like 125s to 150s or something. CC. So that is the car over. That's my intake manifold that I've got. Got some massive holder patch there and some little ones around this is the mating manifold for the carburetor go there add a bolt on there then this end like i said before will go into the lawnmower so this needs to be sealed up pretty well um, but I don't know if I can get it into a way where we can actually get a bit and you can see a lot of, a lot of grit down there, particularly if you kind of go this way and you can go, eh, eh. see some of the holes, <laughs> there you go, um, yeah, anyway, that's, uh, what I've got done with this going. So yeah, when I get a chance, weld up this, now the carpet welding up all these holes. Probably a bit better fit up and uh, not trying to do it with a stick welder, probably would yield me a bit better results, but got to do with what you got. Next time might take a bit more time to try to get some, some of the cuts a bit better so I don't end up with these massive fucking holes, but yeah. Anyway, that's my manifold again. So here's the old uh, Victor Loma. This is the terrible welding job of a intake manifold that I'm making. You can see here is where this old plastic carburetor would attach ordinarily. And then this will slip on if I can get it on here. You can't see it, but there's two holes, one at the top, one at the bottom, that uh, Maybe you can see that if I can. Maybe. But 
that in there, but that will go on there. And then with that there, I don't have the carburetor near me, but the new not plastic um, carburetor will go on the end here. We'll kick out a little bit, but um, probably actually stick a bit more out than this one. We'll stick out here. It's more of just to see how it goes, see if it will run. If it does, maybe I'll try to make something better. But um, yeah, this this ends yet to be welded on, as is all these holes that I need to patch up. Apparently. Welding with stick welder, even with a 1.6 mil welding rods, is quite tricky on um, thin walled tubing. It's like that's like I know a millimetre thick or something. You can kind of still see it there. This end I've welded and ground down, but uh, yeah, that's my little intake manifold. I do need to work out a way to clean up some of the weld from the inside as well because there's going to be a whole lot of uh, slag and debris that we don't want getting sucked into this engine. I am not that be that yet though. For now that'll go on there, that'll go on there. Just need to patch up some more holes and finish welding it. Hey, so this is future me, and I think I made the rest of this video in about 2020, so February 2024, um, but I'm just uh, editing this video so I can chuck it up on YouTube, um, but I realise I don't really have a, any footage of the current iteration of this. So this is the Makuni knockoff carb with filter on it, but you might uh, be able to see in there, see if I can get around this side, that is not the crusty um, welding fitting that I tried to do previously, that is um, a couple of pipe elbows that I've welded together. I'll come back over here, you can kind of see a bit better from here. I managed to salvage the two kind of I don't know, manifolds from my original attempt at making this. Then, yeah, the welded version was just not working, so I decided to make it out of two elbows and welded to the mating manifold parts. Uh, this thing runs pretty solidly and the videos of it running pretty sure will be in this configuration. I don't think I have actually got the welded system, welded pipe up good enough. But yeah, so this is it. It doesn't really get used much at the moment. Well, I've had to move house and stuff in the meantime. But I just thought I'd do a quick little video to demonstrate this. And, uh, yeah, this little cracker of a mower, I kind of want to clean up when I have a chance. So we might see another video on it, of me cleaning it up a little bit. But for now, we'll uh, get back to the rest of the video, which is mostly, I think, a uh, video of it running.
there you go. It uh, runs for the first time in I think, 10 years on a um, knockoff, I think they're the Makuni carbs. Bit of, bit of a fabrication on a bracket. And uh, yeah, my air filter is not the greatest right now, it's just a piece of t shirt. But uh, I bought a pod filter off eBay, so that'll show up. And that is one Victor right on, no, Victor right on, I wish um, Victor Lawnmower revived. <laughs>